Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to this Minnesota Vikings news and rumors episode. In today's video, we're going to be talking about three really solid football players. One of them is already on the Minnesota Vikings, that being Wyatt Davis and what I think his role will be heading into this upcoming season because obviously the NFL draft is upcoming and a lot of people think the Vikings should be taking interior offensive linemen and I still think that. However, we can't forget about Wyatt Davis and then possibly trading for James Bradbury from the New York Giants. They're apparently exploring trade options for him. And then also, J.C. Treader. This is a name we've been talking about for about a month now. He's still on the market and he's somebody who I think the Vikings should be looking to pick up, but for the right price. That's what we're we'll talking about in today's video. Thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. Let's waste no more time. Let's get into it. All right, so trenches go first on this channel. So we're going to be talking about Wyatt Davis first. And first off, I am honestly super excited for this NFL draft. I mean, I know it's not as talented as last year's draft or honestly the past couple years but there are definitely some really fun players and there's just a lot of uh there's a lot of corners and there's a lot of interior offensive linemen that i really like and there's a lot of really talented players just in the secondary as a whole like kyle hamilton sauce gardner Derek stingley like i'm excited for this draft especially i love where the vikings are picking you know they can move up they can move back it's a lot of options but wyatt davis we're talking about him first because on this channel trenches go first if you guys didn't know Wyatt Davis, he actually was on the Vikings last year, but he just didn't play because Mike Zimmer has this thing with rookies where he he doesn't feel a need to play them, and he also feels that I just I, I just think he has this like subconscious bias over rookies where he just thinks like no matter how good they are, they cannot play as a rookie. But if you forget, big or Wyatt Davis, he was the Big Ten All Decade Guard, so from 2010 2020 2020. He was the best guard in the entire Big Ten. And apparently this offseason, he has been just a workout warrior. He had some self-aware comments where he came out and said, I, I was not in NFL shape. He was still in college shape. But apparently he's trying to flip that on the head. And he is just a workout warrior now. And I absolutely love it. And I'm really excited to see him get out there. Because I think he's a guy where obviously us Vikings fans and us diehards know who he is. But I think he could be a guy where... He could really step up into that Pro Bowl, All Pro level because he has that All Decade talent. He has the All Pro talent. It's just about unlocking it. And I think Kevin O'Connell, Quessy, the whole new system will get the most out of him. And now on the J.C. Treader, the other boy in the trenches. He is from the Cleveland Browns and he's still a free agent. He's an interior offensive lineman. And J.C. Treader, he's obviously up there in age. Uh, however, my number one concern is his knees. So J.C. Treader, he's 6'4", 307 pounds from Cornell University. He is a veteran at 31 years old. And he he has a top three pass blocking grade since Garrett Bradbury's entered the lead. And I wanted to kind of show that because Garrett Bradbury is the worst pass blocking center in the league. And J.C. Treader is top three. So if we were going to overpay a little for a J.C. Treader, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make me as mad mainly because it would be turning the position on its head and I feel like when you can do that in the NFL when you can overpay for a position group where you have really struggled in but you know if you bring this guy in it will completely turn it on its head I'm okay with and also we know Kirk Cousins weakness we know Kirk does not handle interior pressure that well so go get him a top three center go get him a top five center however you want to call him Obviously, I would not pay him the big bucks. I would not give him the three-year, $35, $36 million. If you can, I don't really know the specifics of what him and his agent are asking for. I was thinking more around two-year, $18 million, you know, where you could put $5 million into a signing bonus and put, you know, backlog the other, you know, $8 million, pull some LA Rams where he's only hitting this year's cap for like three or $2 million. You could really could really get creative here and still have enough money to pay your rookies jc treader still one of those guys if we signed him i would really be excited and i know there's question marks around him but you know i feel like when you're bringing in these veteran guys in the nfl everybody always has question marks but they always end up working out and they may not work out in september october november but i feel like they always work out in the playoffs when you need them the most jc treader really could help the Vikings in the trenches. All right, so obviously the Vikings are always trying to add uh, more cornerback depth, and James Bradbury is on the market per se now. The Giants said they have been opening to trading him if the right offer is there. James Bradbury, he's a very solid corner. I really think he's one of the more underrated corners in the league, and it, 
this is not just me saying this, trying to build up hype for he can come to the Vikings. I've been saying James Bradbury is underrated for a while now. I think just because he is on the New York Giants and they are normally known for not having the best defense, people can just say, like, how could they have a really good corner there? I think James Bradbury is one of those guys. You trade for him, you get him in a good culture, you get him in a winning organization, you can really see how good he is. He was the seventh best corner rated on PFF in 2020. And the thing about him, I don't mind. He's Listen, he's six foot one, 212 pounds, good size, good uh, uh, physicality to him. And also this year, his contract's one year, 13 and a half million. I think the Giants would eat some of that. So again, you can maybe sign and extend them where you could backlog a bunch of this money where you could go be aggressive because listen, not the, obviously the cap space is not a myth, but there are ways around it. You know, obviously you're going to have to pay those checks eventually, but you know, Kirk's got two more years here. Go get him the corner he wants. You know, go all in on this team. Go all in on next year. That's kind of the message I would be I would be I would be using that message to spread across the organization. It's like, this is our year. We're going in. We're building something for this year. And we're going to go make a run at a Super Bowl. Obviously, you had to choose between James Bradbury, J.C. Treader. I think it's tough. That's where you guys come in. Let me know down below in the comments, J.C. Treader or James Bradbury. Would you rather go corner or interior offensive lineman help just to sure up right before the NFL draft gets underway. Thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. It's been an honor doing this with you guys. And obviously, you got the draft coming up, and I'm so excited. See you guys next time. Skull Vikes.